Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, dan uh, selamat petang. Um, hi everybody. Uh, thank you for watching this video. So I have uh, this uh, new robot that I would like to explain and uh, share my experience. Okay, this is the board, uh, the robot that uh, we share already the previous video uh, about how the compatibility of this uh, module uh, can be controlled using this uh, remote and also can be controlled using the mobile apps okay so this is the imo bot pister i'm so sorry for the condition of the box because my clever boy already damaged it Okay, um, a basic function of this uh, robot, basically it is equipped uh, with a very uh, good uh, motors. Okay, if you can see here, we got a motor. Uh, and then this blue bling there is actually indicated uh, Bluetooth connection is available for the user to use it. So we can control the first one using the uh, remote. <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so the first one uh, we have to on the remote. Okay, and then uh, you can see how the uh, AMU board is uh, able to move forward, backward, and make the rotation. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, uh, it's a very straightforward one. Okay, and then this robot also can be controlled using a smart application or we call it as a mole king uh, apps okay so the mole king app can be download is available in the link uh, description below you can uh, check it out there and then um, for the functionalities if you can see here uh, we got the hand of the robot okay we can open up like this and then uh, they can sort of bend a little bit here go at the back so this is just a manual play okay uh, same also for this one we can play this one uh, same also like uh, the other side of the hand of this robot and then uh, we got the head over here the eye can be uh, adjusted uh, the eyebrow also can be adjusted okay sad looking uh, happy looking uh, curiosity looking and so on it can be tilt over here and then at the back they got some sort of uh, wing mechanism okay and then the most interesting part is uh, this module excuse me uh, this module actually can be controlled using a remote control as i mentioned to you before and then it can also be controlled by mobile apps okay you need to connect to the bluetooth uh, sections and then uh, you can have uh, some sort of uh, simple programming language using a block language uh, which is i'm going to share with you later on okay okay ladies and gentlemen so let's dive in into the operations of this robot uh, using the uh, mobile apps okay so the first step is you need to switch off or make a reset changes by just switch it off and then switch it on again and then you can open the mobile apps all king uh, powered module so uh, we have several options over here so in this case i'm going to use the powered module 3.0 series because this is uh, for the robot number 13004 this one okay so this is the remote control if you uh, enable the Bluetooth, then you are able to control the robot. Okay, you, can, you are able to control the robot if the connection is being synced uh, together with the Bluetooth device of the robot. Okay, you see? Okay, so that is the mechanism. And then we can also make a sort of a gyro uh, movement by using this gyro mode. And then we can also using the path control model and then we can also use the speed recognition this one will be talked later on in the deeper part of how to control this robot okay for programming language you can just click add button over there 
and then start to code your robot so basically i would like to uh, code my robot so that my robot can uh, with the um, starting button and then maybe we can just have a simple coding like uh, move forward and then move backward and then on the bluetooth over there and we can have a look how the movement of the robot so move forward and then move backward one time and then move forward that time and the most interesting part is you can also make changes with regard to the values of this movement let's say i want to move it um, halfway and then we can uh, start programming it straight away see it is just okay just nice okay uh, very short one and then uh, you can also use this uh, loop and then this loop will automatically focus uh, on the repetitional motion of this uh, robot based on the number three over here so we can also change which cycle that we are going to uh, proceed and then we can also code it that um, as a forever loop so this is the example of forever loop where we try to look it um, in the mechanism of moving forward and backward so we can do it repeatedly forever that's mean moving forward one time moving backward one time until the end of the setup okay okay we can do this uh, repeatedly until it finishes the battery functions or we press the stop button over there um, besides uh, we can also make this uh, program available um, as a functions of a sequence okay for example this is my model okay we start with the moving uh, forward moving backward and after that uh, perhaps i would like to change this one uh, for changing the module you can just drag it and drop it straight away so i would like to have this mechanism move forward move backward three times repeatedly and then after that uh, turn left and turn right repeatedly um, three times okay one two Make turn, make turn, make turn, make turn, make turn, make turn, stop. Okay, so that is the idea um, of the movement for this robot. Okay, hopefully you learned something about this video and explanations about the iMobot. I'm going to explain more about how you can uh, manipulate this robot in terms of uh, making it uh, a little bit more fun in terms of um, give task to this robot to do something um, navigate it through uh, lots of other things that you can play with okay we are going to uh, go into the deeper um, explanations with regard to the use of uh, mobile apps and also how to play with this iMobile okay thank you guys thank you for watching please consider to subscribe 